Hi Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what does your person in separation secretly want to say to you. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 5th of April, 2023. Time here in Milan, Italy is 7... Uh, wait a minute. Yes, 7.30 p.m. <laughs> Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And if you were to find a guide to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please to show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Their person is separation right now. What do they secretly want to say to Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? I've posted shorts today for individual sign readings. Check them out if you want to. Got the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Hmm. Your person in separation right now secretly want to say to you that it has been really hard for them with the ten of wands doing things on their own because it feels like in the past both of you may have done things together um, as a family or as a unit. Ten of pentacles and love first. Yeah. And the empress here and love first. Feels like you no longer are nurturing them taking care of them and the things that you used to do for them now they have to do it by themselves right with the ten of wands as you can see one person is carrying all of these wands they secretly want to say to you that they now understand how much work you have put into this connection the responsibilities that you may have taken on when both of you were together they secretly want to say to you that will fortune that they're trying to change they're trying to take a different direction, different path in your life. Um, but they don't really have the courage to do so. The strength here in my first. They feel weak without you, okay? But they're trying to change. They're trying to move on as well. But I feel it has been difficult for them. They secretly want to say to you that you are a missed opportunity. They do regret a lot of regretful energy that I'm sensing here. They secretly want to say to you that you are beautiful, you're kind, um, and you've got a good heart. This is a queen of heart, queen of cups, queen of feelings. They love you for your heart, who you are essentially as a person. And then the seven of wands here, my first, uh, they secretly want to say to you that they, they really wish they fought hard enough for you yeah they, they didn't fight hard enough for you it feels like that and with the page of pentacles here your person in separation could be a virgo capcon or taurus they are sorry they secretly want to say to you that they are sorry um they didn't mean to do whatever they did or that they didn't mean to not fight hard enough for you and for this connection now they could be feeling as though it is too late for them Four wands in reverse again, an indication of them feeling as though you are a missed opportunity. They seem they want to say to you that they will never meet somebody like you are, somebody with the kind of heart that you have, okay? I'm going to pull off more cards here. Yeah, it has been really hard for them with the five of wands. See, they feel like it is too late, yeah, because we've got the death here as well. So your person secretly may want to say to you that they regret this is over. Again, this energy of because they didn't fight, fight hard or long enough for you, this has come to a point where it's not salvageable. Um, they regret the fact that this connection could possibly be this ending could possibly be a permanent ending because they feel as though you're not going to give them what you used to give them anymore. Six of Pentacles and Love First. Yeah, so they secretly want to say to you that without you in your life, it has been super hard because you were there. You were there to support them, advise them or 
given them something in some way, shape or form that was really, really valuable and they regret not seeing that. They regret not seeing the future, right? Ten of Pentacles, that both, what both of you could have had with each other, like a stable connection, even marriage, children, um, a long-lasting connection, growing old together, all of that is obviously Ten of Pentacles and Rovers. It's not happening, right? They secretly want to say to you that they appreciate your heart, your kindness, everything that you have done for them, to them. But unfortunately, this is over with the death here. And it's too late because maybe you have changed with the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you already have someone else, maybe in love with somebody else already with the Queen of Cups for some of you. Hmm. They also secretly may want to say to you that they still love you, right? Queen of Cups doesn't matter. He or she is not gender specific. And they regret for something that they may have said in the past or something that they have done out of immaturity with the Page of Cups in Rob First. We're going to pull out more cards here. They understand if you resent them with the Queen of Swords in Rob First. They secretly want to say to you that they, they totally understand if they were you, they would have hated them as well. <laughs> And the Emperor here in World First is somebody who could be an Aries, but could be, it could be anybody, but it feels like this person secretly may want to say to you that they should have known better, right? They should have been more mature. Um, they shouldn't have taken advantage of you, of the situation, abusing their power over you, over this connection. You secretly want to say to you that they wish they could have controlled themselves or controlled the situation, but they couldn't. It's completely out of their control. Again, another energy of them feeling as though there's nothing they can do about this right now. They secretly want to say to you that it has been hard. Look, the Empress and the Emperor here. Both are in first. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that both of you couldn't spend the rest of your lives together because you know else or else this could have been a really good union because both of you are supposed to be a um i just saw 0707 check out your angel number if you want to okay just google 0707 there could be some other important messages for you over there both of you are supposed to be together um hmm well, at least in their mind, yeah? So they secretly want to say to you that both of you are actually meant for each other. Both of you are supposed to grow old together, but something has happened here, okay? Maybe it's because of their immaturity or them putting you in a third-party situation for some of them, not all of them, or just not appreciating you, um, not valuing you. And we've got the Nine of Swords here, Emma, first. They also secretly want to say to you, if both of you have a child together, that they could understand completely if the child hates them as well. I don't know. Only if you have a child with this person, okay? But they definitely know that you resent them. See? A lot of cards here that indicates you turning your back on them. Yeah, they secretly also want to say to you that um, whatever they've done to, to you in the past, especially if they lied or cheated or if they've done something very out of selfishness, even that, it didn't work out, okay? Whatever their plan was, this sneaky plan here, seven of swords and lovers, for themselves, um, or certain actions based on selfishness, it didn't pan out and they're not happy. They're not doing better than you. Um, in fact, they're doing worse than you, than you are. And they feel weak, right? With the strength here, my verse. Secretly, they still want to say to you that they could understand if you're not going to be there for them anymore, um, even in the future, even if both of you have kids together, okay? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading, and I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, I've posted 
I think I've already said that, posted uh, shorts for individual sign readings for each and every one of you, for all 12 of you. So check, check it out if you want to, okay? And also don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. Uh, Chelsea Tarot 2.0 is my latest channel, uh, my newest channel where I only post individual sign readings. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. All right, take care. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.